Bruhima by him. Battlefield 8 by John O'Hara. Sensational writer. Um, the book was uh, adapted for the screen and Elizabeth Taylor, the famous actor with her uh, stupendous eyes, won an Oscar for this uh, role. And John O'Hara is um, also famous, in fact, much more famous, included on the list um, created by the Modern Library. You can check it out on the web of uh, 100 best books in the English language written in the last century, 20th century, with appointment in Samar. <laughs> Speaking of which, that has a little story retold by Somerset Mo. It's worth, again, googling it to see more about it. Basically it says something like this. A servant goes to market in Baghdad and he's coming back terrified. Master, I met death at the market. A woman patted me on the shoulder and when I looked back it was death. I need a horse. I need to go out to Samara where death will not find me. Okay, says the master. There's a horse. He's riding. And now the master goes to market, where he meets me, as told by someone said mom. Now we're turning to another person. Uh, the story is told by me. Uh, he meets me and says, look, why did you frighten my servant? Uh, you death. <laughs> and I say, well, no, I, I didn't frighten him. I was just startled, surprised because I have a meeting with him in Samara. So, uh, I thought that's an interesting story. It's a marvelous uh, novel, Appointment in Samara. And Butterfield 8 was also a bestseller. It's a good uh, story in itself. It is a love story, even if uh, really complicated and um, with strange twists. Um, probably much influenced by psychoanalysis, which was all the rage, I guess, at the time. Uh, now, from what I read, and I'm getting much more interested in psychology, uh, Freud is already passé. I also consider him wrong with his uh, emphasis on, the, on love for mother, on penis envy, uh, childhood sexual desires, and all that. Uh, I. I, for one, refute that. But anyway, in this book, uh, there's having something which happens uh, in the childhood of um, Gloria Wondras, the main character, uh, who has a name with a play in it. Uh, she's not Wondrous Sensational, but that's just the name, and she has to explain it uh, uh, once when she meets uh, Liggett. Um, the other main character, the male lead this time, even if Eddie could be also considered as sharing in the in a sort of a threesome uh, without sex involved on the side with Eddie and Gloria. So Gloria has a terrible experience in her childhood when an older man comes into the house and starts uh, harassing, petting her and eventually is molesting. Uh, the child. That will have an impact all throughout to the end, I would say. And this is a tragedy. I will not say who and what happens to the person. Uh, I was shocked. I was expecting love to take uh, its course and to be a beautiful, uh, um, happy end where they all live forever after. It didn't turn out uh, quite this way, but that's for you to find out. Uh, the twists of the story in case you, <laughs> you listen to this and you feel like reading the, uh, the story she is a sort of an easy girl a pretty woman we know from the famous movie uh, up to a point but again that would be I don't, I'm not sure if justified but partly explained Freud or no Freud by the events of her childhood when the uncle was also having dirty thoughts, if I may call them that. Um, a sort of Humbert Humbert and Lolita. Um, 
just thoughts, but still that surely had an impact as well on the child who is uh, actually young throughout the story and she falls in love with uh, this legged she steals a mink coat which is six thousand dollars it's uh, I don't know over a hundred thousand in the world of today I guess anyway expensive then expensive today when actually it would be compromising to wear uh, a fur coat like that I'd say in high society I'm not sure I don't have access there but I will just say uh, so there's a love-hate relationship for quite a while especially when Leggett finds out that uh, this woman stole the mink coat of his wife because he's married to complicate matters he is uh, naturally upset we're dealing with a thief here apparently in essence uh, he is the one who tore the clothes off this lover uh, whom he has taken to the apartment where he lives with his children and wife so it's all as i said pretty mixed up we're talking about the 20s there's a economical crisis which again has uh, influenced uh, for sure the psychology the psyche of those taking part and um, uh, the main impact is though of um, tragedy which happens I have to mention that because this is uh, a drama not, we're not, not talking comedy here if, even if there are funny ways of uh, telling the story in, in parts uh, that's that's of which I cannot talk about but that's the uh, climax and um, alas something mm, totally unexpected and uh, awful happens well it's for you to find out what later out